Why was Einstein so smart? Hello and welcome all, hope you're all doing well. When it comes to intelligence, physics Albert Einstein always is a proverb. That is why if someone is smarter than others in a particular field, we compare them to Albert Einstein. So what makes Einstein the most famous scientist of all time? Is he the wisest person on the planet? Is there anyone smarter than he is? Inside Albert Einstein's mind. Regardless of how strange the question about what we might find if we entered Einstein's brain may appear, there is an answer. Although Einstein recommended that his body be cremated after his death, pathologist and Dr. Thomas Schultz Harvey had a different opinion. He secretly stole Einstein's brain without anyone knowing because he thought that Einstein's brain held the key to unlocking his genius. That is why he placed the brain of one of history's greatest scientists in a container full of formalin then x-rayed it and secretly conducted several examinations and research on it. Several years later, Thomas announced what he had done and then several researchers and specialists joined him to study Einstein's brain. They discovered that the weight of Einstein's brain was about 1230 grams, which is slightly less than the normal weight of an average human brain. They also noticed that some parts of his brain were thicker than normal. Also, the left and right hemispheres of his brain were strongly connected which may explain the creativity and superior intelligence that characterise this man. But none of this was particularly significant, because being smarter than others is insufficient. He was not the smartest, nor was he among the ten most intelligent, nor was he even among the most intelligent thousand. So before we get started, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that humans were born with intelligence? Is it a learned skill like so many others? And whether it is low or high, can we develop intelligence over time? Leave your answers in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notifications of our new videos. Einstein's intelligence. According to scientists, the average person's IQ is usually around 100. However, if it is less than 70, it is assumed that the individual is not intelligent. If on the other hand the number exceeds 130, the individual is so intelligent. As a result, when they calculated Einstein's IQ, they discovered it was 160. But before you get surprised and think that this number is fictitious, let me tell you that there are people with much higher intelligence levels than this. For instance, Isaac Newton's IQ is estimated to be 190. Garry Gasparov, the famous chess player, has an IQ of 194. Terence Teo, a mathematician who earned his baccalaureate and master's degree at the age of 16, has an IQ of 230. However, researchers estimate that American mathematician William Cedars has an IQ of 250. He was only 8 years old and spoke a variety of languages including Latin, French, German and Turkish. All of this means Einstein does not have the highest IQ in history, but many far outperform him. Despite this, Einstein remains the pinnacle of intelligence and genius. What is the reason for all of this? IQ hoax. Simply put, an IQ test is insufficient for determining a person's intelligence. Certified IQ tests like the Stanford Benedict Scale and the David Walsh Scale measure a person's IQ but from different perspectives, if that makes sense. As a result, these tests do not assess all human mental abilities because it usually requires paying attention and distinguishing between different things. It is also dependent on memory strength such as the ability to memorize numbers and form numbers and words. This is in addition to the fact that all questions have a time limit, which means that responding quickly is required. All of these factors combine to make IQ tests inefficient tools for determining a person's level of intelligence. For example, while quickness is required to assess intelligence, it is not a criterion. Because some people have slow writing abilities or slow answering times of a second or less. Apart from that, there are various types of intelligence. Some people, for example, have high linguistic or verbal intelligence as well as reading and writing abilities. While some people are gifted with numbers, mathematics and solving equations and puzzles, and some people have visual and spatial intelligence, which allows them to deal with pictures and drawings differently than others. What's the point behind all of what we have said? The answer is that Einstein possessed a different type of intelligence that not everyone possesses, which is the ability to analyse information, bold scientific imagination and link them all together. Einstein himself admitted that he was not the brightest mathematician, so he sought the assistance of his wife, Maliva Marich, and his friend physicist Michael Besso. 
to help him solve the mathematic problems he was facing. However, Einstein had the ideas and vision that no one else in the world possessed, and he attempted to write down what was going through his mind in a form of numbers and mathematics to ensure that what he was thinking was correct. And making sure things are right is what Einstein was so good at doing. For example, the aforementioned Australian mathematician Terence Teo, with an IQ of 230, may be smarter than Einstein in the speed of mathematic operations, but this does not prevent Einstein from being superior in the ability to dare scientific imagination. The best example of this is the idea of black holes. Einstein's mind to the ground. Black holes. Einstein was described by other scientists at the time as a scientist who combined science and philosophy. This was due to his unusual scientific perceptions, which he always declared. For example, Einstein published his General Theory of Relativity, which discusses gravity, in 1915. It also changed Isaac Newton's General Law of Gravitation, which had been in use for about two and a half centuries. However, the most contentious issue was Einstein's assertion that time and space are one fabric. He also created accurate equations and calculations that predicted the path and motion of the planets and the sun. Although everyone questioned Einstein's claims, with the advent of 1919, astronomers Frank Dyson and Arthur Eddington applied Einstein's equations and calculations during the solar eclipse that occurred in the same year. And the surprise was that everything Einstein said was true. After he modified the concept of gravity and linked time and space together, he spoke of what he called gravitational waves. He also expected the existence of a strange body in the universe, which he called a black hole. It is worth noting that at the time everyone did not understand Einstein and could not understand his theories or the majority of what he said. There were no sophisticated monitoring machines at the time to confirm Einstein's words, but it turns out that Einstein was correct after nearly 100 years of theory. The Diego Observatory in the United States announced in 2016 that they had discovered and proven the existence of gravitational waves. The authors of this discovery, physicist Rainier Weiss and Barry Barish, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics, and in 2019 the black hole was photographed for the first time, and this news at the time was a media sensation that attracted the attention of many around the world. The reason is that the picture that was taken is very similar to Albert Einstein's perceptions. Thus Einstein's conclusions and statements which turned out to be true may be the reason behind his fame. Modern physics sciences are based on the amazing works of Einstein and this man was the cause of many applications that benefit humanity, such as global positioning systems, a technology that depends directly on Einstein's theories. In addition to this, Einstein's appearance, manner of clothing were very suitable for fame. This is in addition to his quotes and his way of speaking, his sense of humor and his strange smile. All these factors made Albert Einstein the most famous scientist in history. People also associate his name with intelligence and genius in general. That's all for today guys, we have answered the question, why do we think Einstein was so smart? If you have watched it all the way up to here, press the like and share so we can see how much of you have watched the video until the very end. And if you have a question in the middle of the night that is causing you confusion, please leave it in the comments section below so we can answer it because we make most of our videos based on the questions you write in the comments section. Bye!